Hello year one, welcome to another bedtime stories. We haven't had one for a while, so oh Eddie, getting excited. Get yourself snuggled up and all ready for bed. Today we have We Honestly Can Look After Your Dog, and it's a Charlie and Lola book. So let's see what happens on the blurb on the back. Charlie has this little sister Lola. Lola knows everything about dogs. One day they go to the park with Lotta. Marv and his dog sizzles. Lola says, honestly, we do promise honestly to look after your dog. And Marv says, definitely no taking him off the lead. Let's see what happens. We honestly can look after your dog. The author is Lauren Child and it says, as seen on TV. And he's back. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. At the moment, Lola really, really wants to have a dog, but mum and dad say she can't because of our flat. It's too small and Lola is too young to look after one. Lola says, say woof, Charlie. So I say, woof. Then Lotta says, then Lola says, sit. So I sit. My cereal bowl is now a dog bowl and she has made me a dog bed. Lola just loves dogs a lot. I chose this one because we love Eddie. One day, Dad took us to the park. There was me and my friend Marv, Lola and her friend Lotta and Sizzles. Sizzles is Marv's dog. Lola loves Sizzles. So does Lola's best friend, Lotta. Lola says, you ask. Lotta says, no, you ask. So Lola says, Marv, can we look after Sizzles? Marv says, Lola, do you know about dogs? Lola says, yes, I do, everything. And Lotta says, so do I. Lola says, we know that Sizzles is a very, extremely, very clever dog. We know that he can do very good tricks. Lotta says, if he wanted, he could roll over. Lola says, and dance, definitely, I think. Lotta, do you know, I think Sizzles can do really anything. Lola says, and walk on two legs. Lotta says, and speak English. Do you think Sizzles can speak English? Then Lola says, Sizzles is the cleverest dog ever anywhere. Marv says, yeah, watch this. Sizzles, sit. Sizzles, sit. 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 Sizzles. <laughs> I don't think he's sitting. While Marv is trying to make Sizzles sit, I see some of our friends playing football. And I think I'd really like to play too. So I say, we could just play one game, Marv. Marv says, but who is going to look after Sizzles? Lola says, me. Lotta says, me. I say, it is only for a little while. He'll be okay with Lola and Lotta. I'm pretty sure he will. Hmm, what do you think? Do you think Sizzles will be okay with Lola and Lotta? So Marv says, okay, but do you know there are lots of rules if you want to look after Sizzles? No chocolate or cakes and no sweets of any kind, completely no digging and no chasing birds and no splashing in puddles, which is one of Eddie's favourite things. And no taking him off the lead. Marv says, do you honestly promise to look after my dog? Lola says, honestly, we promise honestly to look after your dog. Lotta says, honestly and promisedly we do. Lola says, Dogs must be stroked and patted. Thank you, Eddie. Lotta says to tell them we're their friend. Lola says playing is what makes dogs happy. Lotta says and grooming makes dogs feel pretty. Lola says dogs must go outside and must walk. Lotta says otherwise what's the point of their legs? Eddie loves walk. Then Lola says Lotta I don't think you really know all about dogs like me. And Lotta says, Lola, I really do know everything about dogs. Lola says, but Lotta, I'm in charge. And Lotta says, so am I. Lola says, we're both in charge. But I think that Marv said that I was a little bit more in charge than you. You see, Lotta, you must not hold the lead like this, see? Lotta says, oh no, Lola, you really must do it like this. Uh oh, they look like they're about to have an argument. Oh no! <gasps> Uh-oh. Sizzles, where are you? Where are you, Sizzles? Uh-oh. Sizzles, where are you? Lola says, do you think we have lost him forever? Lotta says, I think he was sad, actually. 
Or well, maybe because they weren't walking him or arguing. Then Lola says, sizzles. But then Lola says, oh no, there are two sizzleses. And Lotta says, no, Lola, there are two dogs, but only one is sizzles. Lola says, but which one? Lotta says, I don't know. Lola says, the clever one. Sizzles can do anything. Remember? Lotta says, yes, sizzles can do anything. Sizzles can sit. Sizzles, sit, sit. Lola says, sit, sit, please sit. L Lotta says, sit, sit, will you sit? Then Lola says, sizzles, it sizzles. Here. Yeah. Mmm, I wonder. When me and Ma finished playing football, we went to find Lola and Lotta. I say, come on you two, it's time to go home. But Lola and Lotta look a bit fidgety and they both whisper, Charlie, we had sizzles and we were looking after him. Then he sort of went for a walk without his lead and then we couldn't see him anymore and then we saw him but he wasn't one he was two sizzles is and so i'm not sure that sizzles is, is sizzles now i whisper so i say look here dog number 144 sizzles owner marv low 5a crocodile street then marv says that's his dog tag it's got his name and address on it in case he gets lost lost all dogs have them even eddie has one eddie come we'll show you his in a minute and lola says here we go here's eddie's dog tag you might be able to see it just there and it has his name on it and his address and lola says we knew that actually marv and lotta says just in case they get lost i say yes that's right just in case they get lost <laughs> Oh, Eddie's getting excited. And Lola says, but Sizzles would never get lost. Lotta says, because he's very clever. Lola says, he can do absolutely anything. And Marv says, come on, Sizzles, we're going home. So everything worked out okay in the end, which is good for you. I was getting a bit worried then in that book. Eddie, did you enjoy that book? I think he did. He enjoyed seeing the dogs on it as well. So next, oh gosh, really enjoying the book, trying to eat it. Next time we are going to have, Eddie, you can't eat books, they need to stay nice and fresh. Next time we are going to have a vote on which book you would like us to, me to read or me and Eddie to read. I will hold them up for you, Eddie being cheeky. The two choices are, that this is actually my party or, oh Eddie's keen for this one, but excuse me, that is my book. So in the comments on here, you can choose which one you would like. It's, this is actually my party, oh, but excuse me, that is my book. We can tell which one Eddie wants the most. So make a comment and let me know which one you would like. Speak to you soon, year one.